Changsha, the capital of central China's Hunan province, seems nondescript compared to major metropolises such as Beijing and Shanghai. But it is home to the country's third national supercomputing center and the crown jewel of the establishment is the Tianhe One, one of the fastest of supercomputers in the world. Huang Huang is a senior engineer at the center. He spends most of his day with supercomputers. Supercomputers are made up of tens of thousands of processors that can do billions or trillions of calculations per second. China's first supercomputer dates back to the 1980s, a milestone for the country, but nearly a decade after the very first supercomputer debuted in the U.S. The country had to play catch up and invested heavily in research and development. Decades of effort have paid off, and China is now a front runner in a global supercomputer race. We are the supercomputing center. 枢纽甚至能够覆盖中部地区，主要服务于像科研机构、政府机构以及企业。And Juan also recognizes that the role of supercomputers goes far beyond the field of information technology. They serve as a powerful engine for the country's drive towards modernization. China's fast track to success in the supercomputing world did not come easy. Liu Chubo, an ordinary-looking man who rides his electric scooter to work every day, is an important source of brain power for the National Supercomputing Center in Changsha. He had never touched a computer before the age of 18. Okay, then let's start. While Liu Chubo was completing his PhD studies at Hunan University, he found the perfect platform to pursue his passion in computer science research. The National Supercomputing Center in Changsha offers a unique window into not only how China's innovative capacity has been built on talent development, but also the role information technology has played in the country's journey towards modernity. I think the the story of China, which uh, can catch up uh, uh, the industrial revolution, not only industrial revolution but information revolution, digital revolution, and technology revolution, uh, in such a short span of time, you know. It probably uh, in 40, 50 years time that uh, has gone through the uh, developed countries 100 or 200 years time uh, to reach that stage. It's a miracle. A country that only began its modernization drive some seven decades ago. China could not afford to drag its feet in an era of digital transformation. Some experts call China's path comprehensive modernization. Zhongheshan的话道路. 则是两次现代化的协调发展，并不但向第二次现代化转型，它包括从半工业社会向知识社会，从半工业经济向知识经济的转型，也包括工业化、城市化、绿色化、信息化的协调发展。Other analysts have characterized China's fast-track journey to modernization. Has taken one giant stride to cover the distance which others have taken three steps to reach. Namely, China has completed the three industrial revolutions in an overlapping and short period.
China became the world's top manufacturer in 2010, producing over 220 kinds of industrial products. China also grew from having no internet to becoming the world's second-largest digital economy in less than 30 years.